Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create one single still exposure from your um, the number of different exposures that you take during an evening. So I've got loaded up here, I've got some of the um, shots that I took over Portland a few evenings ago. As you can see, if you zoom in on here, you see a very slight difference with each exposure the stars move across the sky. That's, that's what gives you the motion in the video. But if you're looking for one single standout image, you want to create something that looks a bit like this or some other examples that I've done in Bridport by Night exposures. And it's really simple to do. Um, all you need is a, a set of Photoshop actions which are provided in the link um, below. So if you go into Photoshop, load these in and have all your images ready in one folder without any other files in there. So I've got 198 JPEGs there. Um, ideally you want them full quality, full size, so you can just get the best possible image um, out of these files. So you want to go into Photoshop and you want to go to File, Automate, Batch. And you want to load up the set which is called Star Circle Academy Stacker. Um, the automatic action which comes up is do this first and as the name suggests you do this first. You click OK. Oh, sorry, I've already loaded in the folder. I'll just do that again for you. So go File, Automate Patch. Make sure that's selected, do this first. Then you choose your folder here. So I've got all my images in an Images folder. Click Choose. Um, I'm not sure these three matter too much, but make sure they're ticked anyway. And click OK. And click Stop. And then click stop again. It's very important that you click stop twice. This has created a blank frame from which the image will work. Now, again, you need to go into File, Automate, and go to Batch again. And this time you want to select the action from this set, um, Load and Stack in Lighten Mode. You could try Screen Mode as well if you're not getting the, the effects that you want, but I've always tried Lighten Mode and it always works fine for me. So click Lighten Mode. And just make sure that the folder is still selected. <coughs> Click OK. And Photoshop will load each image um, one after the other and put them into one final image using um, a layer opacity effect. So this is going to take a little while. OK, so once Photoshop's finished um, working its way through the image, you will get something that looks like this, hopefully. Um, there is a certain amount of tweaking that you can do. I started these exposures when it was quite light at sunset so there is a lot of white area around here um, you can reduce that by taking out the exposures that were taken earlier in the evening um, so that Photoshop doesn't have to work through them to put into the final image um, also sometimes with this um, certainly in darker situations with with this um, action it does pick up the grain occasionally so you will have bright white dots luckily it hasn't done it here but um, all you would do then is you use this clone stamp tool, which is this one here, and just as you would do with any ordinary clone stamp tool, you want to select the area in which you want to replicate, and then you just click and drag over it. As you can see, I've done that for one of the coronas from the lights. Uh, it hasn't worked too well, but you get the idea. So that's how you create one single exposure from all your different exposures that you take. Um, it's really, really useful to do this because both you can get both fantastic still images and you can get video for Dorset by Night um, just from all these one uh, single exposures so um, like I say the link to this these Photoshop actions are in the video description or in the blog description depending on where you're viewing it so have fun <laughs>